Today I want to talk to you real quick about how I think philosophy is the missing link in today's current educational system. I previously did a video about how I think the current state of education past post-secondary is not very good anymore. Maybe it works for certain things, but for the average role that I'm seeing people trying to pursue, I feel like it's not actually what they need anymore. I think philosophy is the missing link in, uh, in education because we've been teaching people what to think. We should be showing them how, how, how you can think. Not what you need to think, but how you can think for yourself and be able to critically think and think deeply. It feels like school did it wrong because it's like, how can you tell people to think critically and deeply, but then mark them on it? Because it's limited by your creative and critical and deep thinking on how you mark theirs. It's a very weird, biased, ironic system. I wanted to just share with you guys just like one of the books that I've been reading, for example. I've been following Alan Watts for a very long time. I'm always regurgitating his stuff, sharing it in different forms, new perspectives. I've only recently actually started reading his books because, um, there he is. But um, I only recently started reading his books because I've been listening to his lectures for a very long time and at this point I'm starting to re-listen to them. So I figured, you know what, I might as well get a little bit of a different medium of how I receive the information and uh, maybe get a little bit more in depth by reading one of his books. He's got almost 25 books, I think. So he's got quite, quite an arsenal there that I have to kind of get through. Um, yeah, I'm trying to ex really expand my philosophical understanding. I've always been very philosophical, philosophizing everything, but I think there's a really important key aspect to that, that that is very much left out of education because a lot of it is high-minded rhetoric thinking that like really doesn't apply to everything or it's like, you know, why does whether a tree makes a sound in the forest actually matter? Well, you could apply that to the majority of the things taught in school. The difference here is the result of understanding philosophy and getting into it and, and understanding the basics allows you to, I, I really believe that it boosts your understanding in any type of learning. For example, if you learn and study the different logical fallacies, well, half, conversa half the conversations in today's climate of like politics and all this crazy stuff going on is debating or arguing if you're just trying to cause discourse. And the difference here is if you looked into the basics of philosophy and you learned what a logical fallacy is, you can see a lot of the different major logical fallacies that are used constantly today. And you can avoid having pointless conversations that are completely discourse. Because if someone's arguing with logical fallacies, they're not arguing with real logic. And you end up just getting into a discourse situation where you're just both spewing nonsense and you're not gonna further the conversation, you're just gonna be wasting time, probably get yourselves more angry, usually more affirmed in your own original, pre like your original belief. And um, that's why I think having a basic understanding of philosophy is now like a key aspect to our much more intelligent society. Thing is, we don't have a proper construct for how we talk to each other and how we debate things and come to logical conclusions. And, um, and I think that's the framework that's really missing from the education system. And I can see why they left it out. And that's a whole other topic for another day. But I'm very interested to see what you guys think about philosophy, how relevant, how relevant you feel it is to today's educational system, why is it not really being taught, very little focus on it. I don't think that going and studying philosophy in university is your primary you know, uh, focus is really going to get you a job if that's what you think is the most important thing, which for many people it is. Um, but just the general understanding, it doesn't, it's not like it has to be your field of study, but I think it should be much more involved in our, in our school system. Like I think that, I think understanding how to debate someone is a lot more important than, you know, trudging along through trying to figure out what is being said in Shakespeare. And I'm sorry to English majors and, you know, various different fields, but a lot of that stuff doesn't really apply. But I'm seeing people debating and arguing and getting into logical fallacies every day. So there are definitely things that are much more mappable to real life that are still academic 
and philosophy is the basis and foundation of original academia and founded the first universities. So obviously there's some merit there, but we got a little bit disconnected from it. And um, I mean, I think they don't actually want people genuinely critically thinking, deep, having deep thinking. They just talk about it in a much more, a pseudo sense. Uh, they teach pseudo deep thinking is, is what I generally believe for education where they want the ideals of, of deep thinking to be you know, like you want to believe that you're going to be doing something great with this deep thinking and da, da da da, but they don't actually apply it in a way that is meaningful. It's really just to get your deep thinking criteria along with your other grades, etc. It's just one of those little like objectives that doesn't actually mean much. It's really just like, did you really think about this? Did you actually think hard on it? Like it, it's so objective or I guess it's subjective. Let me know what you guys think though. I'm really interested to hear from you guys. Um, yeah, I, I think philosophy is such a major part of our lives that we don't even realize because we don't really associate philosophy with logic in general, but that's the basis of that helped form logic and how we, how we interact and have rational, not like sensical, conversations and debates that aren't just mindless like how's the weather how's the dog that don't actually do anything or provide inf any tangible information that matters tomorrow so again let me know what you guys think what do you think of philosophy today what do you think about it being a part not really a part of the system what do you think about it adding it more into the system let me know what you guys think in the comments Let's keep the conversation rolling. If you guys really like this, let me know. I can do like a second part or continue on this so we can have more discussion. And as always, keep on earning, keep on learning, keep on steaming. Scott, out. <laughs>